All righty, we're back with another Wednesday lunch live sketch. I think I'm going to start doing it on Wednesdays at lunchtime around this time, noon. It's just a good time to to get in there and do some sketching. But first, I think what I would like to do is go over last week's um, live sketch. It was this guy here, Nosferatu. Um, there was something that was bothering me uh, while, I was, while I was working on it, and it wasn't apparent to me until I watched the playback which is another one of the reasons why I'm doing this in the first place. It's given me a bit of a uh, another view, so to speak. I kind of watch myself draw, like from a kind of like outside of myself. So it's interesting to see the decisions that are being made. Um, so that said, I, I saw something that was bothering me with the screen right arm here, and initially, it has since been corrected. Um, but initially, there was a very strong prominent straight coming on the sleeve and it continued in with the cape and what that did was this is first off a tangent which is a bad design decision worse what it does is it takes the viewers eye and zoop sucks it right out of the frame zoop, takes you right out so that was what was bothering me, and it didn't occur to me at that time until I watched the playback, and then I adjusted it and put this curve in here, which works better. However, thinking about it some more, what I probably should have done was made the cape do this. And that would have at least brought the viewer's eye. It's this whole concept about um, reading the eye, the viewer's eye, and at least that would have brought our eye back into the toe, which then would have brought us back up into here, you know. And so there, there's a little more interest. There you have it. Live and learn, guys. We'll just close that and get rid of it for now. <coughs> no. So I'm going to keep rolling with this concept. Um, I'm going to just kind of maybe draw a – actually, that's not true. Uh, last night I drew a picture of a knight on horseback for uh, my daily sketch. Um, and so I'm going to roll with that idea, and I'm going to maybe come up with some sort of, I don't know, some sort of goblin-y type guy. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so we'll just, what we'll do is we'll just start off with just some loose. I want to be a little lighter than this. I hope this comes through the light. The light um, gestural type stuff. Uh, and I want him to be kind of gross. You know. And, you know. I'll make him a little cartoony, so we'll give him like an oversized head. Um, and maybe he's. And maybe this guy's murderous. Maybe he has a knife. Or maybe the knife should be over here. Now it just looks like he's going to stab himself in the back, right? Uh, hmm. No. I mean, what we could do is... Something like that. Thin, thin wrists. Go with the thin wrists again. Maybe chunky chunky hands and thin ankles chunky feet Let's, I can either <clears throat> elongate the head a little more hunch no you know This is interesting right here. What's going on here? So if this is the shoulder. This should carry on over here. Pull them down a little bit. <coughs> Get rid of this. And then, uh, Yeah, 
Let me raise that a little higher. Uh, I'm not talking a lot, am I? I'm in think mode. So maybe we can give him one kind of squishy eye. One like bul bulging. Heavy brows. Kind of like an upturned nose. Squishy, weird eye. <laughs> Bushy uh, sideburns. Doesn't know how to maintain himself. This should be more scraggly, but we'll get to that later. Okay. Probably push this a little more. And Got a dagger out. He's ready to ready to pounce. So it's just maybe it's like a steak knife. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already noticed, I make lots of sound effects while I draw. Got a little bit of a paunch. This? Maybe this. <laughs> Big crotch. <laughs> So we'll just try and balance out some of the stuff with some curves against the straight, against the straight. Here's a curve. It's like, I guess I should put a straight in here, put some straights. There's the armpit. There's the shoulder. There's a curve. Straight, straight. It's a little bit more of a curve. There's a curve. Straight, straight. Curve. Straight against the curve. Just then put it against this curve. Maybe this could be straighter. I don't know. Let's keep that curved. And I want to keep the skull and head shape in mind here. So I got to build build his hair to reflect that. There we go. Let's get this fist in there. Streamline. Okay. 
three teeth. He's got a little bit of a crooked grin going on. I don't like this pointy, pointy business. So we're just gonna make it a weighted, a weighted curve. What kind of a shirt he's wearing? So this needs some help here. He's coming along okay. Um, uh, His feet, you know, we can just try and construct the foot. So this one could become an Addis. This one is in profile view. Let's make this a little more rounded. This guy's a little cartoonier, so we can get away with some stuff. We can take some liberties. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. And we can probably go into a little bit of a tie down on this guy quickly. Whoops, well, I just fell out. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what I'll do, definitely want a little heavier on the Let's just try and go through a little bit of a tie down. And a tie down is exactly that. It's um, you just you're, you're refining your shapes a little more. So here's that shoulder. Let's play a straight against a straight. Here's a and more or less a straight. But this is a nice curve coming up into the shoulder. Tapering the wrists or the taper. A little curve. Okay. So we can refine some of this a little more. Gotta refine this nose. The nose is getting lost, so which is fine. I, I want the eye to be bulging, tucked behind the nose. It can be jutting a little bit. Thin, thin nose. We can correct some of this. This odd. Again, he's a little misshapen, so we're again we're taking some liberties. Uh, see, it's kind of weird. Chunky. Now the trick here is to get the eye, this bulging eye. See, this is weird. See, the eye is coming off of that. It needs to at least give the impression that it's situated into this his skull. So the curvature of the, of the eye eyeball needs to at least shoot back into his head, you know? Maybe a weird, I don't know what that is. Some sort of mole. Keep that rounded. Here's our weighted, whoops.
this is not really considered a cleanup pass. But I can go a little again. It's just refining. It's refining the shapes that are there. So there's this is a this is too close. The hand and the hair like they're they're touching, which is it's not a good design. When things are just kind of like touching like that. Here's our hunch. Keep this. Ah, see, this is kind of weird in here. It's very busy in that corner, in the crook of his elbow. It's busy. Here's this weird paunch. Here's a weighted curve into the bottom of his pant leg. And we're just about there for this guy. We can do some more refining of him. Let's keep it flat. You can certainly be refined a little further. Uh, I'm not entirely sold on this crazy. <laughs> this bulbous uh, crotch. You know, and, and also the way like, what's going on up here, like what is so what is this shirt? He's just he's got a got a V neck on. And this gives us the idea that there's some sort of neck, right? And his head is huge. So. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for now, I think. Uh, thank you for joining me. And I will be back next Wednesday at around noon for lunchtime to do some more. Thank you very much.